you know, it just kind of feels redundant to sit here and say it's cold because the winter is supposed to be cold. But it is really, really cold. It's freezing. We've had a lot of pipes freeze up, but not burst, luckily. They didn't burst. We were able to warm them back up and get them running again. But it's just cold. Freezing cold in Georgia. I know there's a lot of other states too. It's just crazy. Just usually we don't get it really bad until after the new year. But this year, this well, this winter is being really rough on us. Really rough. And we've seen some flurries and we've seen plenty of black ice to last us a few lifetimes. It's crazy. It's just crazy. It was a hot summer and I guess we're gonna get a cold, cold, freezing winter. <laughs> noisy tut, noisy tut. Everybody loves some noisy tut. Noisy tut, noisy tut. Everybody loves some, some noisy tut. I've been resorting a lot of my collection lately, being a real nerd. And I just ran across this and I just thought I'd, I'd just ask why. Why did this happen? So let's look at it. You got a road rash and a shitty cart. The yellow tab. Road rash. Then you have road rash too. Put it into the long cart. That's cool, eh? Then you got road rash three. Why'd they go back to the yellow tab cart? Why would you stop the evolution? of carts. Why? Why won't you stick with a nice little flat cart? Why is this little pugnant asshole still around? Yeah. Kinda pisses me off. It just little things like that sometimes get to me. It's just stupid. This news kinda disappointed me, but I heard in the news that Listerine is gonna be taking out alcohol from its product. And personally I, I like the sting that alcohol has. It just that that just that burning sensation and you feel the germs just imploding in your mouth and it stings a little, but it's also there's a satisfaction there. I mean I get that same kind of high when I pop a zit and I put some rubbing alcohol on it. It's like it, it hurts, but it feels so good too. It's it's such a good pain and I like that pain. And I don't know why they're taking it away from me. Eh, I mean, why are people being too much of wusses? Man up. Take the pain. It feels good. You can feel the germs dying. You can feel the germs just imploding into themselves. And it's, oh. There's something about it that cannot be beat. So, I recommend uh, moving on to another mouthwash. That's what I'm going to do. And look for alcohol in it. Uh, kind of boycott some of that Listerine right now because, you know, fuck them. Fuck them for what they did. They, they had no right. No right at all. Do you ever lose something that drives you nuts? That happened to me recently because I have this AV cable that came with my Canon Vixen 30 and I use it to be able to stream stuff from my VCR onto my computer and I could not find it after the move. It was driving me nuts. It's just one of those things where it's all you look for and you just open boxes and you just kind of rummage around and you don't see it. And I looked for it like for like a week. I went to a storage unit to check any things I packed away that I didn't know, think I would need right away. And I went there and I unpacked and looked and I couldn't find it. It's just, it's, it's becoming like this legend, this myth. Did I ever have AV cables? Was me doing the ultimate fighter a figment of my imagination? What's going on in this crazy world of ours? And it just oh, made me so mad. So finally, I, I broke down and I bought it off the internet. Buy.com, since they were the only ones I could get that would accept PayPal. Amazon doesn't accept PayPal. I did not know that. Amazon didn't make any sense. Amazon had one with like a really long cord. Which, you know, I guess could get in the way. It's not really that long of a distance. But I like the, you know, the value of just having a really long cord. Maybe I'm greedy like that. But I couldn't get that one. I had to get the one from Buy.com because they accept the PayPal. I had to pay $2 more for a shorter cord. Explain to me that, people. Explain. But I got it. 
right after I got it, I found that damn cord, and I cried. I wept inside, and the tears are somewhere in my body, probably going to start some infections, and I'll die shortly after. But yeah, it just sucks when that happens, because you always find that thing right after you replace it. I should have pretended to buy it, then trick myself into finding it afterwards. But it, it it's just one of the, I, does that happen to anyone else? I, I know it has to, it has to. I'm not the only one, hopefully. Or I'm cursed. I'm cursed to walk the surf. Losing things, replacing things, then finding things. For I am the loser of things. Yes. Speaking of losing things, my old e-machines crapped out this last week. And that's been pure hell. Because we really didn't know what was wrong. It just kind of went out. And we were trying to get... See, my e I, got my, I got my Acer and I got my e-machines. My e-machines I got back in 2006. It's a bit of an older computer. You know, it's, it's there mainly just to store my music. That's what I used it for. I used it for my iPod. And just my huge music library. I also did some, you know, writing and some text files. And I also had this thing ca called the Google Music Code, where it allows you just to search Google for any MP3s. And it takes you to, takes you to a website's uh, index pages, so you can just, bam, right into there. Look at the MP3s. Choose the ones you want. Take the ones you don't. Take the ones you want discard whatever it's all good it's all fun on the piracy internet ring but I, you know, I was like oh no that's gone because I could not find that code just on the net after I get, got it about two years ago off of reddit so then you know here I am a shit creek for so long it, it made me so sad but finally then I was able to run it as a slave on another computer and I was able to get to that information and put it on an external hard drive that's a mouthful. So luckily I didn't lose too much and even though it's a bummer to have the e-machines die at least I got the important things off. You know I also had some short stories I had written uh, just for fun just uh, mainly about work. You know I just was feeling creative at the time I just wrote a bunch of short stories like 20 of them. So yeah yeah that's that's where we're at. We got the all the stuff back course yeah I'm probably gonna let my all my classic images uh, gotten off the internet in ages go uh, the best of that being the giant blow-up doll of Pikachu that you could bounce inside of in Japan and the the opening was right at his crotch it was hilarious just picture that image in your mind and then you'll have it forever just like I used to have it oh yeah some people were clamoring about our new room tour and I gotta tell you that you're seeing Daniel's side with the way the setup is. My side uh, is magnificent with the NES games. And I got the Roland Watt Rocker on display. There's Gambit. I'm looking at Rob the Robot holding a Mario plushie to symbolize how robotics, including Rob the Robot, which was a robotic in the original NES saved the gaming industry and gave life to Mario. There's a lot of crap going on. I mean, it's it's like on a different level. It's like the actual level of seeing it. Then you go, oh, that's what that means. That's how deep it is. And I was thinking, I will do a room tour, but I only do it after Dino's done all of his this old trailer series. So there you go. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to wait until that's over. But you can check that out in the uh, down low. And, uh, on his page. It's pretty much all he'll be doing for a very long time and I can do a nice room tour up here because it is pretty. I mean, I mean, it's just like, it's like, it's like the 90s and the 80s like crapped all over the place but very strategically. Let's, let me fluff the puff here. Fluff the puff. That drives the ladies wild. They like the puff.